two weeks ago exactly today we were at the pediatricians and uh, we were just getting a checkup for Owen for his cough and then some concerns I had and after seeing the pediatrician we got referrals for a couple of different places and last week they were able to get us in so we were able to see the audiologist and the ENT ENT stands for ear, nose, throat. We went to the same office that we went to when Eli had to get his tonsils out almost four years ago, little buddy. Do you want to drink some more? Do you want me to drink the slushy? Yeah. Let's have some more slushy so you can feel better. Good job. Is that yummy? Yummy. I'm glad. But we went back there. Our ENT was occupied, but I just wanted Owen to get seen. We met up with another one, and I really liked him. He was telling me that he has experience with um, children with HLHS, so it's always a plus when you can work with a specialist that's outside of, you know, the cardiac field who has experience with congenital heart defects and the one specifically that your child has. It's always good when they're familiar with that. So we went there. Hi, we're the audiologist. <coughs> and the ENT, I forgot to add the ENT. We just finished our hearing screen. <coughs> what is it? You. Did you get your toes? Yum. Yummy toes. They performed four different tests and Owen passed them all with either good or excellent marks so he's just a really relaxed baby and I guess my sis just don't bother him too much so that was that was a relief he's fine with that so that's good Monday we went early in the morning to that ENT appointment we came back and then we had to go to a preschool graduation for sister. Hey, Isabel's my kind of gal. She likes to go shopping and her favorite color is pink. Good job, let's give her a big round of applause. Pink for Isabel, yay Isabel. <laughs> Isabel. She's like, what's whatever. Wow. We went to that, had a good time. It just happens to be right next to our Aunt Dina's um, work building. The Upstart building just happened to be right next to Aunt Dina's work building, which is right there. And we're gonna go meet Aunt Dina, right? On a work break. It is kind of like a maze. Do you think there's animals that live in here? Come on. <laughs> I don't know. Well, there's a white butterfly. This is like a fun nature walk. Oh, look at all the white butterflies. Like so many pretty butterflies. Wow. Wait, there's another one. Okay, let's go walk. Let's walk this way. So that was fun. And then Wednesday, we met with the plastic surgeon Although she likes to be called the craniofacial specialist, not a plastic surgeon. So, comparatively, I, I like the, the care and the treatment we got from the ENT's office way better than the plastic surgeon. I had an appointment with one of the doctors. It's a building that I'd never been to before and it's about 20 minutes away. I asked them, what building? Uh, where do I go? That sort of thing so I could be prepared. And the lady on the phone told me, third building, second story, when it was really second building, third story, except it was really second building, second story. <laughs> We got there, I was walking around, and it's it's a hospital, so it's not it's not super tiny. Uh, we are walking around, and you know, it was five minutes from my appointment time, so I call them, and I say, hey, we're looking for your office. Can you tell me where it is, blah, blah, blah. And they told me that it was on the second floor, second building, and that she would let the doctor know that I was here, but that I was running a little bit behind. So when I finally get to the office, it is 11.20 in my, appointment started at 11.15 and I check in and the 
little assistant at the front of the desk. She said, oh, I'm really sorry, but the doctor's not here. He had a really important meeting to get to and he had to leave. That made me grumpy immediately. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. You know what? The thing is, like, if I had an 11:15 appointment, and the doctor, the doctor wasn't even in the office anymore. Like, did he leave at 11:15 for his meeting? I just, did he know that I was there? I, you know, I was, I was kind of baffled. I'm like, well, how long? How long do the consultations normally last? Are they normally five minutes long? And the front desk girl said, yeah, you know, they're like five to ten minutes long, but. But usually people come 20 minutes early and they already have their paperwork all filled out from online. I would have not had a problem filling out all my paperwork online. That's good to know. And why didn't we schedule my appointment at 11 then instead of 11.15? She told me that if I had come at 11 and with my paperwork pre-filled out that the doctor would have definitely been able to see you. But because I wasn't there before my appointment time, I guess the doctor had to leave. That was annoying. So she said, okay, well, we have another doctor that can see you, or you can just come back another day. No, I'm not coming back another day. I had to arrange babysitting. I had to drive 20 minutes. It's a big deal. You know, I have other, whatever. It's like, oh, well, you know, it'll be a couple minutes for the doctor. She's with somebody else right now. Okay. So I sort of learned to ask specific questions when I'm dealing with doctors or staff or things like that. And, you know, I asked her, okay, by a couple minutes, do you, do you mean five minutes or do you mean 30 minutes? And she said, well, probably closer to 30. Okay, well, that's definitely not a couple minutes then. But uh, we ended up in the waiting room for 50 minutes, 55 zero minutes before we were seen. And then um, the doctor we ended up seeing, I didn't really like. Maybe next time we go back there, I'll suggest the other doctor that blew my appointment off before and <laughs> see if he's any better. Uh, so far, not a good review for their practice, but uh, whatever. Anyways, so she evaluated Owen and he has uh, his official diagnosis is something called plagiocephaly. And that's when the plates and the skull becomes a little bit misshapen, or not a little bit, a lot. It, I guess it depends, range from one to 10. Um, she said, oh yeah, he's not that bad. You know, I've, I've seen much worse. I would give him an eight and a half. Okay, that's not that bad. That's like, <laughs> that's like near the, the extreme side of the spectrum, but not that bad. So it said normal kids' heads are one to three, because nobody's head is absolutely perfect and said that, you know, yeah, let's let's get him measured for a helmet. He could definitely use one. He would be wearing it t two to four months. We would go in every four weeks to get it adjusted. So after that, there was another guy that came in and he was really nice and he'll be the one that we'll be working with. He measured Owen's head, just like front to back, side to side, and then the, the diagonals and he had a whole little chart that he filled out. He'll send that information off to the insurance and, and work with them. Not all insurances approve things or it depends on the severity. Our insurance has been really good to us and he also said just based on the measurements he took that we should have no problem getting approved. So the point of the helmet is not purely cosmetic. Yes, it will make his head look a little bit better in the back, but he also has a problem called torticollis and that's when the muscles on one side of the neck become really stiff and his head is always like pulled to one side. Getting the helmet and being able to shape the skull a little bit, that will help his torticollis. And we've been doing other things like stretches and, and massaging his neck and uh, activities that help him to stretch and exercise the neck in the opposite direction. But the helmet will, will help that for sure. So. Looks like we're getting a helmet. We haven't heard back from the insurance yet for sure. They said expect a call back within two weeks and we'll schedule a time to go in there and get fitted for a helmet. So we'll update on our helmet adventure later, but more to come on that. What else happened? Oh, Lily came with me to the office that day and she was kind of my little buddy. What did we find? Did we find a ladybug after one's doctor appointment? Flew into our car, huh? I must like you. Oh! 
There we go. Now it'll be happy. Okay, let's get in the Bye, car. Bye, bug. Bye. Then afterwards, we grabbed some quick lunch at this place called Freebirds. I just finished Owen's consultation at the plastic surgeon, and now we're gonna go get some burritos at a new burrito place, right? And I found it. Okay. So yeah, let's let's check it out. It's called Freebirds. I've never been there before, but I like burritos. So I thought it'd be kind of like a Chipotle place. I don't know if I was in a bad mood from the doctor, just doctors, both of them kind of being ridiculous, or I I honestly don't think it was really that good of a place. I think that's the problem. <laughs> I don't know. Or maybe people here don't care because they don't really know what a good burrito tastes like because this is Utah. So after our lunch, we went home and that was our day and that's the update on Owen for now. He's doing really well. I was really glad to hear that his hearing screen was, was good because that, that was more of a worry to me than the helmet. Stay tuned for info on helmet stuff. There's always more, more updates for Owen, so check back. Thanks for watching and if you want to be in the loop for more updates on Owen, on HLHS stuff, on our journey, subscribe to our channel. We have a playlist of just HLH stuff that you can check out below as well on our YouTube page. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much.